Hi guys. Today we will analyze PPG Industries stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. Also recent evolutions are not positive. Both the long and short term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends. Strong support levels are around $108.99. Next strong support level is around $82. Strong resistance levels are around $122 and $136. Next strong resistance levels are around $152 and $165. In the last month the stock has been trading between $107 and $123 range. It is currently trading in the middle of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 1.5 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since June 2021. Be careful. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, Valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio, and expected growth rate. First model discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 4% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 8% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 112% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for PPG Industries Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. PPG Industries will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low. 4%. Future profit margin would be low, 8%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $74. Second scenario. PPG Industries will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 5%. Future profit margin would be average, 8.5%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 85%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $85. Third scenario. PPG Industries will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 6%. Future profit margin would be high, 9%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 90%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $98. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 4.42. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For PPG Industries, analysts forecast growth rate around 6% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 16. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for PPG Industries company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. PPG Industries will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 4%. Future PE would be low, 17. In this case, 
the fair value of the stock today would be $45. Second scenario. PPG Industries will have average performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 5%. Future PE would be average, 19. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $55. Third scenario. PPG Industries will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 6%. Future P.E. would be high, 21. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $67. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $116, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. While the company has a good financial health, there are some minor concerns on its profitability. Also, the stock is expected to show a small growth in revenue in the next 5 years, 5-6% to yearly. Based on that, the stock looks overpriced at the moment. The stock has been in a downward trend since June 2021, and it can go lower, before it recovers. I may consider buying the stock for the dividend, when the stock drops below $85. Company Strengths PPG Industries is an American company and global supplier of paints, coatings, and specialty materials. It operates in more than 70 countries around the globe. By revenue it is the largest coatings company in the world, followed by Axonobel. From architectural to industrial applications, PPG is a globally recognized brand. PPG should continue to benefit from strategic mergers and acquisitions, and divestitures. It maintains strong demand from its key automotive and aerospace segments. The company operates in a diverse range of end markets, leading to stable earnings even during industry-specific slowdowns. PPG's expanded partnership with Home Depot increases its professional paint line at the retailer. This strategy could increase PPG's market share in the professional paint market. PPG's return on assets of 5% and return on equity of 17% are in line with the rest of the industry. Risks The primary risks facing PPG are increases in raw material costs, especially natural gas, unplanned plant outages, product liability lawsuits, regulatory changes, exchange rate fluctuations, foreign political and economic risk, and pension obligations. PPG's acquisition strategy puts the company at additional risk. The success of future acquisitions is uncertain, and a variety of factors, such as unfavorable deal terms, integration issues, and subsequent acquisition underperformance, could destroy shareholder value. PPG has a focus on the lower margin and highly competitive industrial coatings market. Its architectural business is only a third of total revenue. Despite a diversified customer base, PPG's profitability is not immune to economic slowdowns, as seen in 2008 and 2009, when operating margin dropped below 10% for the first time in a decade. PPG's push into the North American professional paint market will face stiff competition, and is unlikely to take market share from wide moat Sherwin-Williams. PPG has a profit margin of 6.3%. This is below the industry average of 7.4%. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a small growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 5 to 6 percent on average per year. The earnings per share is expected to grow by 6 to 8 percent on average over the next five years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.